Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany and I'm on a mission to hit 3,000 subscribers. So if you could, please click that button below. We are at it again. If you guys have not recently seen a heat press review that I did, I'll go ahead and link it above so you guys can check it out. And like I mentioned in that video, I already went ahead and reordered a new heat press. So let's hope third time's the charm. Um, this is the third time that I have reviewed a heat press. And now granted, the first one was my fault. The second one, it did not have an adjustment with the pressure. Loved it, it was very sleek, but again, I needed function over, you know, I guess look is how I'm kind of determining that one. And we are going to bust into this box and now do a review on it. And let's see if this is a winner. Now it is pretty affordable, I'm not gonna lie. It was about a hundred plus dollars cheaper than the last review I just posted. So this one is a little bit cheaper, maybe not as like fancy, but again, it does have a pressure knob, which was a very key for me, as well as I wanted a slide out tray because I wanna be able to put this against the wall without needing to swivel my arm like my old heat press, if you guys have seen me use that in a couple different videos. So this does, now the nice thing is, is that it did not come in as big of a box as the last one, but again, she's still girthy and she's still heavy. I'm trying to keep everything nice and organized as we move along here. Now this is a 15 by 15 heat press. I did want to make sure that if I was going to be upgrading, I'm going to be upgrading, if you know what I mean. My last one was a 12 by eight, and I did have it for well over seven years before I decided to upgrade. So I just cannot believe that I have been doing crafting for that long. Now embroidery on its other hand, I think this April will be two years. Pretty sure it's two years. I don't think it's three years yet. Pretty sure it's two years. And that alone is absolutely crazy to think about it. And honestly, I personally love embroidery. Like I love it. But um, of course we do do a couple offs do do um we do a couple one-offs with t-shirts and of course i still want to make that available when i am you know offering embroidery to customers you know you want to do that so let's go ahead and rip on into it oh boy see now this one definitely looks like a heat press versus the other one it just was it's okay it's okay we we got to move past that Brittany. All right. Oh, she big. Bye bye. All righty. So, this is her. We're gonna bring you in a little bit closer, and we're gonna take a nice look at her. So obviously, it does come free wrapped, so we want to make sure to take the plastic off. Like I mentioned, this does have a pressure knob here. So of course that was very important to me. This is actually, oh my gosh, she big. This actually comes with like a protection. I did not have to buy this, this was not extra. So that is really cool because I do see quite a few people who will purchase these as extra, but as you can see, it automatically came with it. This is the DNG heat press. I did pick it up from Amazon. I will go ahead and link it down below if you guys are interested. Of course, instructions and then a piece of trash. So it's kind of, I don't even know what you would say this is. It's not, it's not like a fabric. It, it obviously looks very shiny and the tray does come out, but as you can see, it's not very much, not compared to the other one I was just reviewing. So we do still have to get pretty close in there. But again, the good thing is, is that I can keep this against the wall. 
press it. Oh boy. I went too far back on my table. Ugh, come on. And then we can press it down. Okay. And you can hear it. She does lock into place. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna unravel this. Okay, so I guess in order to open it, the handle that it does slide on, you can kind of hold on to it in order to help release it because this does have quite a bit of pressure. I do want to go ahead and plug it in and let's see what that is. So as I mentioned, the extension cord it comes with is really not that long. So just make sure you do keep it near a plug. The on button is right here on the side. And as you guys can tell, the top is your temperature and your bottom is going to be your timer. It is honestly pretty simple. So let's just figure this out together. My temperature, I typically leave at 315. And then we should just be able to collect time. And then I do eight minutes. So at that point, let's go ahead and get it all heated up and let's test this out. All right, so we are nice and warmed up. I'm not gonna lie, I did go ahead and run three shirts before I turned my camera on. So far, I'm actually liking it. Um, like I said, the tray doesn't come out that much. However, um, I'm actually inserting the shirts backwards and I'm kind of liking that a little bit more. I also did have a subscriber tell me to don't, you know, don't put the actual hoop of the neck on because it's not giving it a flat surface. So I am using that as a recommendation as well. So of course it does benefit me, which you guys can't even see. It is benefiting me that I am putting the shirt in backwards. I do have a little bit of excess hanging over. So I am curious what's going to happen. So I'm going to push the tray back. Now, as soon as I close this, the countdown automatically starts. I don't even have to hit a button. So it's already going. I don't know, you guys can't even see it from this angle, but I'll show you in a second. So it automatically beeps. I do grab the handle down below and I do pull it back up. So now we have a completely flat surface to work off of. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my image on. Now, I am going to do a full video. I did pick up some images from Tease Me, which is a TikToker. I'm going to do a full video on their images and everything like that. But again, I do use still my little neckline. If you guys have one that's more of an acrylic that you really do like, let me know because, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the flimsiness, but again, if we can upgrade ourselves, we're going to. Um, this shirt is specifically for my mom and I know she likes her images pretty high up on the neckline. So obviously we need to make sure that we are doing this the right way. So we have um, cotton, what does that even say? Cotton tail and candy. Cause this is an Easter shirt. So I wanna make sure I get this done for her before I head out today. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this. Actually, you know what I should do? I should get my mom and I'll have her tell me where she wants to put it. You want to put I don't want it too, too close to that. So you want and here? then how much of a bottom? There's still a lot. It's all the way down here, so. Oh, perfect. So that's where you want it? Mm -hmm. I think that'll be good. You used your machine yet? I did. I did three shirts oh, back Oh, what did then. you think? It actually is really cool. I mean, it's... it's um. Wow, look at the difference, oh. Brett. Did you do a video of the different size? No. Oh, you should take a picture. So I, I said that oh, the different like the drawer doesn't come out that much, but I mean, you do have a lot of room to mess with, which uh -huh. is kind of nice. Um, oh my God, what a difference. And the cool thing is, is that it automatically starts my countdown for me, which is kind of nice. So as soon as I press it, it starts. Which is nice, because the last one I had to constantly hit a button. Doesn't take much time, does it? No. All right, and there you guys have it. As you see, the image is a little hard probably for you to see it, but here it is. 
So now my mom has an Easter shirt. She can wear this week. She'll be extremely excited about that. But yeah, actually I do really like this heat press. I definitely will be keeping it. I would say if I'm gonna mention a negative thing, I'm two things. It's, it's a little loud, but maybe that's normal because I never really had a heat press that pulled out on its tray. And the tray itself does not pull out that far. However, um, it's it's all right. Like I'm, I mean, the opening itself is like night and day compared to the other one. So night and day. Um, obviously, with this one, I'm actually able to heat press with the collar facing me, which is kind of really nice. I feel like if I was to do maybe a sweater, I'd be really curious to see what I'll do with the sweaters. I might end up putting them this way. So I have a sweater right here. So I might end up just kind of placing it this way and just taking my sleeve and just kind of tossing it to the side. That might be what I could do. I mean, I, then again, I mean, I could put it here. I could still slide it in. There's excess fabric and I could still press it down. So I don't really see it being an issue. Again, this is a small, so maybe if it's a larger sweater, that might be an issue and I might have to turn it sideways. But this is just kind of what my brain is thinking at this moment in time. So hopefully you guys do like this video. I will go ahead and link this one down below, like I said. Of course, if you have any questions, suggestions, comments, let me know. Another thing I do want to make mention is the little sheet of paper. This does not come with it. So make sure you do buy one if you like using one. Otherwise you can use parchment paper, it does the exact same thing. Some people will buy like, you know, throwaway. So they'll just use a different one every single time depending on what you're doing. Cause I believe with sublimation, you have to use different ones versus what I'm doing. I can use the same piece of paper. But, oh, my mom wanted me to show you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the size comparators. This is my old one as you guys see and this is my big one so it's a heck of an upgrade for me so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video please make sure to like share and subscribe and we'll see you on the next crafting project bye everyone it's like a mini marshmallow and a king-size marshmallow <laughs>